You know what I was also thinking is that you hear uh, a, a really evil man called Todd Phillips talking about he directed a Joker movie a what? few years ago. He was saying like, we wanted the movie to feel like it was inside of Joker's brain. But I'm like, the movie that feels like it's inside Joker's brain is this movie. It's Batman 66. <laughs> this is an, an incredibly bizarre, schizophrenic, joke-filled experience that is against everything good and righteous. And that's what makes it good, in my opinion. Well, it, it was interesting. The next thing I noted was after they encounter the boat mirage and return back to Commissioner Gordon and the mayor? Is no, that that's is? Chief oh, O'Hara. Chief O'Hara. He's an Irish cop. Okay. With a beat cop. He's a different cop. The 60s show is full of those characters. Like, everyone will have an experience when you first show them this movie. Aunt Harriet shows up, and everyone's like, who the fuck is that? So, <laughs> yeah. Aunt Harriet. Well, that's the way. I, I was actually going to ask you this, Troy. Does Aunt Harriet have any lines in this movie? And I don't think so. I don't think so, which is funny because watching that episode of the show, she doesn't shut up. She's like, Dick, why aren't you playing Chopin, you dumbass 12 You haven't been practicing your piano. You can't be watching TV because there's so much Joker on TV. She's like the, uh, the Graggle Simpson of Batman. As your best friend and handy sidekick, Graggle, I could not be more impressed. <laughs> <laughs>